Hey guys, welcome back to Canon Cinema. I'm Amanda, otherwise known as AMX NDA Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Today, I will be reviewing episode one of The Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yes, I already have merch. Yes, I already have my Funko Pops because I love my Cap Trinity so, so much. From the first Avenger when we saw Stephen Bucky's first, you know, couple of interactions and their friendship, I thought it was just so beautiful. And I love Cap's secondary characters. I love his world. The whole man out of time storyline, what he fights for. It's always that scrawny kid from Brooklyn, you know, and, and he just wants to fight off those bullies. And he's such a, like a wholesome person. He stands his ground and he fights for what he believes in. And I just, I love Captain America so much. I love Steve, I love Bucky, and I love Sam. So seeing Steve and Bucky's relationship reminded me of the friendship that I have with my best friend who I've known for 25 years. Um, and I know that uh, he's gonna be with me until the end of the line. So I really appreciate their friendship on screen. And they're the reason why I, I love, you know, the world so much is what Steve brings to it, what Bucky brings to it. And then we move into Captain America the Winter Soldier where Steve meets Sam Wilson and and Sam Wilson uh, also lost his right hand man and, and Steve kind of confides in him and they, they talk through it. Just the way that Sam can understand Steve on a different level and, and that they've gone on missions together and, and that friendship kind of developed. And I really love that Sam Wilson's the choice to become Captain America because as you see at the end of Endgame, it's not a spoiler. Please, just, you know it's not a spoiler. Steve ends up giving the shield to Sam and I think that is one of the most beautiful moments in the MCU because we do see Sam's arc as Steve's right hand man. So I think that's why it works so well. I literally just caught you guys up about what's been happening in Captain America's world because I love them so much. So going into the Falcon and the Winter Soldier, we first see an action-packed intro that just floored me, floored me. I loved it so much. It has the exact same choreo um, and camera work from Captain America the Winter Soldier. It kind of does it in a different way, but it's still, um, it's still very crisp. Uh, you feel that contact, those punches, the sound design is really cool. And it's just, it fits what Sam Wilson can do with Falcon. And I think that's the most important thing is highlighting these powers, um, is highlighting these capabilities with his, his, uh, with his suit and his wings and his red wing. Um, and I really love the red wing became a character in itself because I just love it so much. And the way the Sam interacts with red wing because it's a machine, like what? It's just so funny and, and there's just some great, great mid-air sequences. Um, Sam's action scenes were really cool and it's going to set up for the rest of the season. I'm just really excited to see what else they have in store for us. Um, at the beginning of this, of this episode, we do see Sam kind of recall his last conversation with Steve and about him taking on the shield and, and kind of struggling with what that means, the symbol of the shield, the symbol of Captain America. And we, we're going to see more of that as this show goes on, but they kind of planted the seeds there in the first episode. And then we see Sam Wilson's backstory, which is really great. And we get to dive into kind of the domestic side of him. Uh, which I loved. We get to see a completely different side of Sam. And I'm really happy that we were able to see that. We're going to see his life as a superhero, as a black superhero in society. And I think it's going to work really well as the series goes on. And we're going to see him struggle with that and what the symbol of Captain America is, especially with what happens at the end of this episode. So it's something that I'm really looking forward to, especially for Anthony Mackie. I think that this is more of like his show, even though it is a co-lead with the great Sebastian Stan, as always is Bucky Barnes. We, we gotta love him. Um, nothing against Seb, I just, I really do think that this is going to be Mackie's spotlight and they proved that within the first half of this episode. So I'm really looking forward to seeing where his kind of story goes. I'm, I'm really excited about it. And then we do have Bucky Barnes. Bucky's been through hell, guys. He has been through it, okay? He is 107 years old, I think, okay? He, he was brainwashed by Hydra. They completely destroyed his mind, okay? He went under again, under the ice again. He froze in Wakanda. He fought Iron Man and kind of lost an arm. That's why he has a vibranium arm from Wakanda. And then after that, like, 
poof, Infinity War. Like, where did he go? So he's just trying to finally fit into society. And, and he's all over the place. He doesn't really know how to process any of this. Um, and I don't blame him because he is one of the most traumatized characters in the MCU. So we finally get to see what makes him tick. What does he want to do? What does he want to change? And that's the beauty of, of Bucky Barnes. And we got to see a little bit in this first episode. And I'm so excited to see what happens um, when Bucky and Sam you know, come together more often, have those really deep personal conversations. And like, I know they're going to have, um, but six episodes is just not enough. It is not enough. I'm so annoyed that it's only six episodes because I could get like a full trilogy of this on the big screen, but hopefully it's coming. I hope it's coming because I really do love their dynamic. Anthony Mackie and Sebastian Stan are so good together. They're dynamite. If you haven't seen any of the interviews leading up for this press tour, like, Please go watch as many as you can. They're so great together. They have fantastic chemistry. And I can't wait to see what they have in store. This was a great first episode for Captain America fans. It is going to be very emotional because of Sam's connection with Steve um, and their conversations, you know, and just having Steve there to tell him that like, this is this is what I, what I see in you. And he's passing on that shield and it's, it's really emotional in that case because of what the shield means and what Captain America means, as I said before. So it's, it is emotional for Cap fans. And then the end of this episode kind of sets the tone of like how angry we're all gonna get. Oh, I was ready to fight. So if you guys enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. You guys can see me screaming about the Falcon and the Winter Soldier over at AMX NDA Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Please join in on the conversations. I need to have multiple discussions about this first episode and about every single episode leading up to that finale, which I know, fingers crossed, something big is going to happen because they cannot leave us in a cliffhanger. Please, WandaVision ruined me. Okay, we cannot end in another cliffhanger. Not with my boys, it's not happening. Thanks for watching you guys. Check out The Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode one dropping tomorrow on Disney Plus. I'll catch you guys later. Keep watching movies.